All right, iBooks Author allows you to put interactive content in the form of widgets. Well, how do we create a widget? Well, you need dash code. And dash code kind of comes with Xcode. And Xcode is for free from the Mac App Store. So after you've downloaded and installed Xcode, you're going to want to go to your Finder. And under your Macintosh HD or whatever your main hard drive is called, in Developer, Applications, and right there is Dash Code. So let's open that. Now you're going to want to create a dashboard widget. And we're going to use the custom template. So choose this. And there's the beginnings of one. Now it's kind of small. If we open the inspector, come under the ruler here, the metrics, you'll see the size is only 280 by 380. We're going to change this one to a full landscape iPad size. 1024 pixels by 768 pixels. And now when I big this up, you'll see we got a big guy here. I'm just going to clean this hello text off there. I don't want it there. I don't even want this info button. And now we're going to test and share. Open up test and share here and you'll see little kind of play icon thing. If I share, click on that, name it. I'm going to call mine empty. Save it to disk. Desktop's fine. Save. Now to clean it out, you're going to want to control click, right click, or your two finger on a trackpad click. Show contents. Show package contents. Now we can start deleting things. This, you don't need it. Images, goodbye. Parts. Main JavaScript, main casting style sheet, all gone. Move the trash. I honestly don't know if you can delete these. I'm sure you probably can. I just leave them in there. Do not delete the info p list it won't work without it and leave main.html just for the sake of when you want to add stuff to this you know that the main file has to be named this because if you look the info p list it will say main html is a file called main.html if you didn't have a main.html in this it will not run and next time i'll show you how to put some cool content into your empty widget.